Hey guys, so you probably play Minecraft, but have you ever played Minecraft in a closet? Because I did that for about four months and let me tell you, it got hot. And I know, I know, that's probably an unusual way to start an episode, but I wanted to explain a situation that I'm in. So right here is the layout of my room like I'm sitting in right now, and it's really rough, so like don't pay attention to the details, but I used to play in my closet, this represents my closet, this is where I started my Minecraft YouTube channel. I was literally a closet Minecraft YouTuber, and I was probably in here for maybe close to four months or something, and if you look at some of my older videos, I think there's one on my channel of me in the closet, but as you can tell, I have moved out of the closet and I'm now in front of my window. But the point that I wanted to make here was that I had absolutely great internet in my closet. I know, kind of weird. And I have terrible internet out here at my window. Now, it's not always terrible. It goes in phases. Like, sometimes it's just like... <laughs> It's dead. It's it's kind of a running joke nowadays that my internet is so terrible. Literally, I logged on to the server, tried to fly out of this thing. Oh yeah, by the way, that's what we're building this episode. I tried to fly out of this thing and it <laughs> And it was lagging so much that I had the time to go on the internet, go to speedtest.com and see how bad my internet was. I came back on the server just to see myself flying into a wall and killing myself. <laughs> like that's how bad the internet was. And that brings me to another point. I lost a replay mod. Oh, and trust me, this rant is almost over. So if you've seen any of my episodes, you know that I absolutely love the replay mod. It's basically my alt account but sometimes actually not not very often <laughs> this is this is a very circumstantial scenario but sometimes like it did earlier today i start the replay mod right and it's going well it's going really well i'm doing lots of great boom <laughs> it blows up the replay mod and i have no footage guys it was gonna be so good it was probably like 40 solid minutes of great recording. I was building this ice tower that I was gonna show you. I was going through the design process, but no, nope. The replay mod just said, I, you know, today you're not getting any replays. Whew, sorry guys, I've been in a ranting mood. Like, I, I, I just need to vent, okay? <laughs> Some things have been going wrong and you know about them now and you probably will forget about them after today, but at least you knew. <laughs> So the main focus of this episode is gonna be about this massive tower behind me, but first, I need to repair my tools. And this gives me an opportunity to check out our neighbor. I know I haven't really shown it off on camera that much, but in fact, Weasel Storm is our neighbor, and I saw a post on Discord, and I think his base is getting pretty insane. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my gosh. Dude, you gotta calm down. This is stupid. Anyways, the reason I wanted to come here. Yeah, okay. Almost there. There we go. One more. We're almost there. Okay, everything is fully repaired. We got a ton of ender pearls and two enderman heads. I think, yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a few of these. And oh, I missed. And here we go. We have been needing to restock the ender pearls in our tools chest for a while, so that feels pretty nice. Also, what do I do with these? Yeah. So, first thing on the agenda today is to finish this ice tower. I've put in probably a solid hour of work in it, and this is exactly one shulker box of packed ice. So if you've ever wondered what that looks like in place form, this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when it's completely finished. But I don't want to show you yet because I had like a mid-episode crisis, guys. I'm like not even joking. How the heck are you supposed to explain this? Oh, look, I, put, I placed some more ice. Oh, I, I placed some more ice. Oh, still placing. Okay, it actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> um, but I thought it made for some good footage. Hopefully you liked it. This is what it looks like in the finale. Look at this tower, guys. I think it turned out much better than the Stumpy. I don't know if it's as quite as good as this one. We'll have to see once I finish the, the things around the bottom. Speaking of the bottom, 
There's lots of orange wool, and that is there for a reason. So, on this one, one of the problems with uh, it not doing so great is I don't think I did an outline, so I did an outline of orange wool. Another thing is I also did a lot of revisions, as you can see right there. That is one of the remnants of the revisions. <laughs> all in all, though, 10 out of 10 would recommend whenever I build these things. I feel like I say this, but I just love like the freestyling building thing. If I was like a professional rapper, I'd be like the top 10% freestylers. Like that's how much I like it. That didn't make any sense, did it? Like, I don't know what it is about it, but like it, it's like sculpting clay. If you guys have ever like sculpted clay or like done pottery or anything, it's kind of like that. And that was a bit long winded. Oh geez, there's a lot of creepers. <laughs> but what I want to do with this space in particular is I want to build a headquarters for this guy. You see, um, as, as the uh, the recycling feud is kind of heating up a little bit, I figured it'd be kind of cool to have a, like a, a decorative tower instead of like one for function. Like we got the villager and we got the storage system. I was watching Branzi's episode yesterday and I was like, huh, he just built a house what an idea so i just built a tower and hopefully it'll be all right maybe long term we like add a furnace array in there And just like that, we are completely finished. No, I'm just kidding. We're not actually completely finished. <laughs> but we've made some good progress on this tower. We have the floor in place. I really like this design, mainly because it's not ice, so I'm not, like, like slipping all over the place. That's the only bad thing. I like the texture of ice and packed ice, but the slippering. Anyways, for this one, I wanted to do a little bit of interior designing, something I didn't even think about for that tower. But with this one, I'm thinking we'll make like an entry hallway that curves around this way. And then this right here will be the section like with the main room with the general in place. But real quickly, I'm going to head over to Weasel's base because apparently he has 88 villagers in one trading hall. And I just want to see this. Oh, no. Is he going to fill this? Oh, please don't tell me these are all villagers, Weasel. That is just no way. Ah, OK. So these aren't even all those villagers. Is another building? Weasel, no way. Wow, next season I need to do something like this. And a piece out, Weasel. That's a huge project. Okay, well, I figured we should probably do a little bit more designing. And I think we can do this just like right off the bat. This was my, my old design. I don't think it's going to work super well. I think doing a little bit more interior, like, because I mean, an ice cave in an ice tower makes a lot more sense than a, a brick pedestal in a perfectly hollowed out ice cave. Because, I mean, it's this guy that we got to put in. Actually, no, wait. No, 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 it's this guy. Okay. <laughs> Forgot who the general was. Oh, and... Okay, here we are. So, I've gathered the general, and I think we'll probably just make him a little desk is probably the best way to do it. Oh, no, that's not good. Okay, maybe we can't use that much ice in here. Okay, okay, desk for the general. What does that look like? Maybe something like this? Uh-huh. Is that... That kind of looks like a desk, right? Maybe we'll make it like an L desk. So I did a bit of work off camera, and I think that's the first time I've ever said I've done a bit of work off camera. <laughs> kind of feels like a rite of passage. But guys, look at this. Bang! This is what the room looks like, fully completed. Or at least I think. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But we got over here, we have some like shelves for the paper. We got our bookshelf. Um, we got some carpet on the floor. And I don't know exactly what that is supposed to be. <laughs> Use your imagination. We also have some lighting up above. We have two sets. So we have uh, the wood stuff right here. And then we have the sea lanterns. I think that's looking pretty cool. Snow on top, just to add a little bit of contrast. We have two types of windows, by the way. We have the ice and we have the glass. The ice hasn't melted yet, which I thought it would because it's kind of close to that. Um, so if it doesn't melt, we might try putting some here because I think this is better but then, like, it's, it's it's probably gonna melt and it's a lot more difficult to deal with. But look at this! I I'm so happy we have a, a room for the general in case things get a little bit hairy with this whole feud that's going on. And the first matter of business, guys, now that we have this sweet office is, well, we got bombed once again by the dad jokester. Okay, he's just chilling right there. Hacking away. What, what's he doing? <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? 
<laughs> you can stay there, Lucid. <laughs> wait, what? He fell from a high place. Wait, wait, wait. Where did he fall? Well, I was like, I seen light at the bottom. I'm like, okay, I'll just, you know, go down and fly back up. But that did not work out. Yeah, well, Luckily, at least you, you, you were back all that. pretty quickly. That was impressive. Okay, yeah. I think that one's yours. The Enlightener. But I just got back from the doctor, right? Okay. And uh, I, guess, I guess he told me that I was going deaf. And the news was really hard to hear. <laughs>